Survivors of sex abuse told traumatic stories on the steps of City Hall about the time they spent in juvenile detention facilities in Brooklyn and the Bronx. As Dave Carlin reports, this comes as additional civil lawsuits were announced, bringing the grand total to more than 400 filed since April. I can say I'm a survivor. When he was 13 years old, construction worker Jose Matias was in a juvenile detention facility in the Bronx. I got arrested for having a bag of marijuana in my pocket and, and on school grounds. Jailed, he says, by a judge who told him it was because his home life was too troubled. It was 1999, and he says a city staffer in charge of transporting him to and from court sexually assaulted him. When we get to the facility, and I got to strip you, I got to make sure you don't have no weapons. Going through sexual abuse is traumatizing, and it can take a toll on your life. In coming forward, Matias joins 425 others. His civil lawsuit against the city will be heard here at Bronx Supreme Court. More survivor stories were heard on the steps of City Hall. I was only 15 years old. A staff member abused me multiple times. This happened to be so long ago, but I believe it's still happening to this day. I don't want another child to go through what I did. City Council member Carlina Rivera co-sponsored a bill that created a look-back window with a deadline of March 2025 to file civil lawsuits. It holds institutions accountable, she says. What this extension has done is expose rampant abuse and New York City runs juvenile justice facilities. A spokesperson for the city's administration for children's services sent us this statement. Sexual abuse and harassment is abhorrent and unacceptable. While these incidents predate this administration and ACS's involvement with juvenile justice, we take these allegations very seriously. Why are you coming forward with your story? Because if you've experienced any type of trauma on the hands of any staff member at a juvenile facility or anywhere, any form of sexual abuse, then you need to come forward. He says the support of his wife and kids and his community helps him heal and motivates him to try and fix what he calls a broken system. At City Hall, Dave Carlin, CBS News, New York.